Hello, I'm Ralph Steele with Imtra Corporation. We're here today to discuss briefly some finer points of installation for zip wake interceptors on the external components. There's three primary components of zip wake on, for the interceptor blade. One is a back plate. The back plate is mounted to the transom. It's critical that it be mounted on a true and fair surface. So if there's any curvature or camber, that would need to be fair and smooth and make sure that the unit gets mounted flush and flat without any bending or distortion. The next component that goes in is a replaceable and serviceable waterproof servo motor, which is what drives the mechanism. It's critical that it be fastened into the back plate at 1.5 foot-pounds with the supplied fasteners. The third and final component is the faceplate. The faceplate and cover has the working blade on internal to that. It fits over top of the other two components and again is fastened 3.7 foot pounds using the factory supplied fasteners. It's critical and recommended that you use a torque wrench to establish those torque settings to eliminate any distortion or flexing of the component parts. If you have any further questions on zip weight, please don't hesitate to give us a call.